By the title of this video, you already know what kind of video it's going to be. It's going to be a school movie project that I did for my world history class, and I just want to share it with you guys. I haven't uploaded in a while, and this is kind of like the main reason. A group in our class got to pick what movie or what topic it would be over, but it just had to be a historical movie. We decided to remake The War of Roses, and I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. And credits to just everyone in the group. Enjoy. Good evening. Today's program is about a war between two families. War of the Roses, that is. Now, this isn't about two gardens fighting over whose grass is greener, but about a vicious war over England's throne that would last over 30 years. Now, let's get to the story. That sounds like a good plan. The king has gone mad. His mind is ill. What does this mean for the kingdom? We shall take his place. Oh, is it going to be the French again? Today I sent the letter to the York House. If he will not hand over the throne, then a war it will be. Do we have enough men to succeed? Yes, I do. I will assemble the men, and we will leave tomorrow at dawn. Please be safe and strategic on the field. Richard's men are in too late. I have to do this. England needs a new ruler. That is true. The crown is rightfully ours. I respect you for standing up for the family name. Thank you. I respect you, dearest. My king, here's a letter for you. Who is it from? It seems to be from the war. Let me see. Hmm. Rebellious scoundrel. He just wants my throne. If it is the war he wants, then it is the war he shall get. Assemble my army. going to win this battle, we need a very elaborate plan. I agree. We need to be sure that our strategy is flawless. I have a map of the battlefield. So we are going to need to march my men from the east side of the field because the Lancaster will be coming up from the west. Richard, you and your men must have a good formation or you won't succeed as easily. I agree. We need to keep you protected. What if we put the strongest men in the front to protect you? and the expendables in the front also because their peasants and their lives are not as important. Then we will put them in the front and I will be protected from behind. Let's go to tell the men. You're now ready for battle. Thank you, my kind sir.
A horse! A horse! My kingdom for a horse! Ah! Long live Lord Custer! Yes, I killed him in battle yesterday at Ballsworth. Please go get my daughter. I need to speak with her. With her. Yes, my queen. Yes, my Elizabeth, I know this may shock you, but it's been a year now since your father's passed, and in order to keep our family in the royal bloodline, I've spoken with the Lancaster House, and you will marry Henry VII of Tudor. I don't think I'm ready for marriage. Elizabeth, if you don't do this, we could lose everything. Fine, I'll marry him. When will we meet? On the day of the wedding, which isn't too long from now. Okay, Mother. They have received a letter from the York House. They have agreed to marry off the children. And they shall rule England? Yes, that will be the start of the Tudor House. When will the wedding take place? As soon as they can come together, it will be a small wedding held within our home. I am glad the war is over and England has a new ruler. I agree. Long live Tudor. as well. We are now the Tudor House. How shall you rule? I have no plan. We shall figure it out together. Here's my father's cake and your father's crown. Thank you. Hold up. Pause. Rewind. Next time I'm in a Hollywood, you know, big movie, I'll make sure not to just stare directly at the camera. I just put it on. How do I look? Great. Now let's ring together. And Richard, the like, shoot, I said, dang it. <laughs> okay. Now that's enough talking. On with the show. Okay. <laughs> Stop. Don't pull it off the court. It's been a year now since your, since your father's passed. And I've spoken to the people. Okay, oh my god. <laughs> my king, there is a letter from you from the battle, it seems like. And who is this letter from? To the left side of the field, or the east side of the field. <laughs> and what if we put the expendable expendables in the front? How about we put? I agree. How about? We put <laughs> oh my lordy! First, first line. Please be safe and shh. Oh my gosh. Today I sent a letter to the York House. Hmm? Please be safe on the field. And oh my gosh. Sorry, President. Yeah, okay. England needs. <laughs> then you walk out. That sounds like a great plan. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Ooh, that Am highlight. You have a good highlight in this shot. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're just standing there and Yvonne's gonna walk in. 